Hi guys, welcome out to this week's skin show. My name's Kino. We've got eight new skins to go through this week, including a smooth gun, Gears of War, and Caesar. Here's the prices. Let me know what you think down below. Oh, first, and we have the Toxic Wolf Bow from the Radioactive set. Now, although this skin does not glow in the dark, it is sure to leave any opponent you face melting before you. The Radioactive Ooze that you can see here, very nice touch, cool looking bow skin. Now we have the Retro Blast AK skin, and I love this week's skin for the AK purely because it reminds me of the show Voltron growing up. So massive reminiscing of my childhood memories there. Definitely reminds me of going to the arcade, and I think that's the look they're going for here. Very, very cool of these primary colors. Not glow in the dark, and that's just fine. A really, really cool retro skin. Up next, and we have the Bullseye Python, which gives off a real Gears of War feel to me. It's going the kind of aesthetic that would make me want to shoot someone with this gun. Now, this gun is also not glow in the dark and has a cool few aesthetics like the skull. The one thing that does throw me off is on the end of the barrel of this gun. It, for whatever reason, it looks like the texture is covered over the hole. It's something small, but just something I picked up there. Up next, we have the JPEG SAP, and I love the amount of love that the SAP has been getting recently. And I know that the JPEG collection really is quite polarizing. You either love it or absolutely loathe it. But I've got to say, I don't think it fits a better gun than the SAP. It just fits this gun perfectly. Again, does not glow in the dark. Now, it wouldn't be a new week with skins without our new wooden box skin. And this week, again, it's from the Graffiti Collection. So if you like your mopeds, if you like your asbos, this one is for you. Featuring words such as burn, process, and smolder, it's very easy to see what should be going in this box. Now, we have the reinforced garage door skin, and very similar to the single armored door skin that we had a couple of weeks ago, keeping the current aesthetic, as you can see here, very, very similar. I would say that the one thing they've made a difference on, and I would say it's a massive improvement, is that it does now reflect this glow-in-the-dark decal on the front and the back. That was missing on the single armored door, so I'm glad they've changed it for this. Now we have the Pineapple Furnace, a clear follow-up from the Zucchini Furnace we had not that long ago. So for all of you who live in your farms and very rarely leave your base, this is perfect for you. A little detail I liked on this furnace is the little power switch they have down the bottom. It does also glow in the dark. I thought it was a really, really nice touch. Not something I've seen before. I'm glad that I've finally seen it. Now, last but not least, we have the Antique Rocket Launcher, or as I like to call it, the Caesar Stomper. This is very clearly inspired by someone who loved watching horrible histories growing up. I've got to say, I am quite looking forward to seeing if this theme is going to be used on any other items in the game. I'd love to see a chair or a table that resembles this aesthetic of looking like it's been taken from the scene or the set of Gladiator. That would be really, really cool. So if you're seeing this, please do that. That would be absolutely brilliant. Okay, thank you so much for making it through to the end of the video. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all next week.